Good morning, good afternoon. My name is Tom Houtkiet. I'm the Chief Business Development and Transition Officer of the Port of Antwerp Bruges. First of all, thank you that I have the opportunity to explain who we are and what we do, mainly in the focus area, of course, of the energy transition. The Port of Antwerp Bruges is a recently merger between two platforms, the Port of Antwerp and the Port of uh, Zee Bruges. We are uh, a merger, a recent merger, 18 months down the road, and it's, our port is composed of two platforms, a platform in Antwerp and a platform in Zee Bruges. Zee Bruges, the coastal area, the platform of Antwerp, a hinterland port, 80 kilometers each from uh, each other. We are a port in uh, Belgium located and it makes us together the second biggest port of Europe. It's a port which is really an in industrial cluster. We are the number two chemical cluster in the world and it makes ourselves also the number one in Europe. Antwerp is the largest integrated chemical cluster in Europe. It's um, almost every, every important key partner worldwide has its own footprint in our port. You do see a lot of names on the slides, names like uh, BASF, ExxonMobil, Total, and many, many others do have their uh, very important plant, European plant and hub in our port area. Antwerp being the second biggest chemical cluster in the world, the main chemical cluster of Europe, uh, is important, of course, thanks to a good connectivity, inland connectivity to Europe. We have very a lot of importation of uh, basic commodities, but also we have a lot of production of main European players. Players you know as a BASF, a Total, an ExxonMobil. Zeebrugge, by the other hand, Zeebrugge is the importation hub of Europe of LNG. We import in Zeebrugge, you do see on the slide, we import 15% of the LNG. A lot, of course, for Belgium, but the major part for the German market. But more important, as you see on the picture, we still have some expansion possibilities on the northern side, the seaside, of that LNG terminal in Europe, which makes it, of course, extremely interesting and important for future molecules, green molecules. That's why together, Antwerp and Zeebrugge, having the biggest chemical cluster, but also having that importation hub of LNG and also having a pipeline company connecting both sites makes us really a front runner for the energy and feedstock of future molecules in Europe. As a role in the past was really a port where we were handling traditional cargo. Today we are becoming more and more a front runner and a key port in Europe for the importation of all type of components for the sustainable energy. Think about the electricity onshore and offshore. Think about future molecules in the form of hydrogen of its derivates as methanol or ammonia. This will land in the Bruges, but also in Antwerp, will be used on our boat platforms, but a part of that will also be as a Panama channel to Germany. On the other side, we will also see that we will have a central role in the consolidation of CO2. CO2 from our own platform, but also CO2 which is coming from the industry, the Belgian industry, and CO2 which is coming from our neighboring countries. All of that being concentrated in our port area, going to a liquefaction installation, and later onwards via vessels or pipeline to empty sinks in the North Sea. The first thing that we need to know, of course, is how much do we need? What is our requirement? How much green molecules do we need for ourselves, but also for our neighboring countries? On the slide, you do see the ambition, the European ambition, which states, yeah, we need to import 10 million ton of hydrogen by 2030, but also we need to produce 10 million ton of hydrogen by 2030. An important part of that will be for the German market, as you can see, translated in terawatt hours. But also for ourselves, our own chemical cluster, the Belgian industry, we will need 15 terawatt hours. And we have an ambition to serve one third of the import needs of the German market 
also via our port areas. This makes it together that we will have to import, and that is our ambition, 35 to 50 terawatt hours by 2030. Those 35 to 50 terawatt hours, we also do not know which type of molecules they will be. As everybody, we have the same question. How much of that will be in the form of hydrogen? How much of that will be in the form of ammonia and methanol? How much will be blue and how much will be green? A discovery we all together have to make in the coming years. But then there's the question, if we know what our ambition is, we know where our flag is put, then how do we do? We focus on three areas. The first one is offtake. What do we need? The figures I just mentioned. The second is how do we prepare our infrastructure between today and 2030, 2030, which is tomorrow. The last one is where do those molecules come from? Who will be our supplier? You do see on the slide all different types of molecules, but also it means terminals, it means pipelines, it means tanking installations. Where they come from? There we look at areas where our natu natural suppliers are. We think about countries like US, Gulf region, eastern coast of US Canada, northern Africa, Middle East, western coast of Africa, but also Australia. All those areas we are scanning. Worldwide we are following more than 450 projects worldwide to understand who are the partners, who are the players, how advanced are those projects in terms of FIDs. Because we also want to understand how can we be sure that those molecules, a part of that will come in our direction via our port. And that's why we have created also a daughter company, which is called Port of Antwerp Bruges International. And it's a company which really gives our services, our strengths, our capabilities to the market, and also to be sure that on the export side, where the projects are being developed, on those countries, in those areas, we also can help in building the necessary infrastructure. And that's why we are also working together and taking shares, taking parts of projects in areas like Oman, Namibia and some others. On the infrastructure, it's very clear. We need to understand if we want to import those 50 terawatt hours. It really means, in traditional figures, it means 1.6 million ton of green hydrogen by 2030. In other words, 10 million ton of green ammonia by 2030. We do need to understand who is preparing to change its existing infrastructure to be future-proof. Which type of backbones and pipelines do we need for that? And that's why we are working on different projects. We try to understand of the existing terminal tank capacity, who is changing, that the tank capacity is really sustainable green molecules proof in the future. What are the expansion programs? And you do see already some names on the slide as Fluxis at Vario and VTTI. We are not talking about 2035, no, it's 2026, 2027 to have the first projects. We also will have already next year our first ammonia cracking installation in our port area, a project of air leak heat in 2024, of course, a pilot project but also on the pipelines, pipelines which are an essential element in the energy transition, one of the most difficult one. We will have our own backbone in the country by 2026, and we will be with our pipelines, our hydrogen pipelines on the German border by 2028. You do see a lot of clear projects, clearly planned to be future-proof, to be ready by 2030 to import those massive volumes of green molecules. It does mean that in the meantime, we will see the need of all also volumes of green molecules and our pipelines will not be ready. But also we are in the meantime working on rail and barge possibilities to understand how can we transport those future molecules really upfront before 2026. For those programs, we have already specific actions. We cannot do this alone. This is really a challenge as a port because it's completely changing our DNA. That's why we need to work together with all new parties, parties we did not work together with in the past. We need to discover who our partners are, and there are many of them. And we are open to discover who on your end is also interested to work together with ourselves. 
And that's why we have created the Belgian Hydrogen Council. The Belgian Hydrogen Council is in fact grouping 100 companies in Belgium who have a stake in the energy transition, who play a role in the future hydrogen business. We work on several items. We work on policies, we work on education, but also on technology transfer. And we focus on several areas. What do we need for the heavy, heavy transport? What do we need for steel, cement? but also what do we need for the chemical industry. And our main purpose is really how can we strengthen each other to be an importation country, to be an import country. What do we need to give to our governments as policies and what can we export as technologies? Our life is changing. It's not the life of a port, traditional port anymore. It will be a port where really the energy will be transferred from other sides of the world with new partners, new cooperations, a part for ourselves, but also a big part for the Northwest European industry. Thank you very much.